Hey guys, how you guys doing? This is the Bacon Gamer here, and welcome to tutorial number two on how to make a bucket server. Yay! <laughs> All right, so um, last episode we made a bucket server, and it uh, you, your folder should look like this. And sorry about last video, you guys couldn't see my um, mouse cursor, but hopefully you guys see it now. You guys sh should be able to. And um, that quality of that last video was just amazing compared to Camtasia Studio. So I'm really happy I made the change to, um, what's it called? Oh my god, uh, Bandicam. So yeah. Um, so today we're going to be working on plugins and how to install them. As you can see, I have made a folder here with all of these plugins. Actually, I'll do this later. Okay. So all of the um, links to these three plugins that are must-haves for making a server... And then I will be um, every now and then making a plugin review on my channel. Um, but these are the three ones you have to have. You literally like need them. They're very important. Um, I'll have the links to all of these um, in the description below. Um, uh, to download them, it's all the same for all of them. Let me just shrink this down a bit. Oh, this is a bit overkill here. All right. All you have to do is search the plugin. Like I'm gonna say uh, essentials. Um, you can also search essential bucket. And then what you're gonna do here? Let me show you guys. You see, there's this download button right here. You click on this download button, and then you click on the download button up here, and that will download the plugin right here. This download button right there. That's what you have to do to download these plugins. Uh, I'll have the links to these three plugins in the description. These are must-haves. You need to have them. <laughs> Um, so right click um, if you get a dot zip um, I'll show you guys what to do if you get a dot jar good to go so you're gonna right click on uh, dot zips extract all and then press extract and then we have the folder and do the same with all the other ones that you have and then you could delete all the um, zips uh, so I'm just gonna do that and also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the world, like the actual jar inside the folder into the plugins folder like that. So I'm gonna do the same with essentials. Get all of these here into the plugins folder and then we could delete these folders so we have all jars in here. So this is just, you, you don't have to put them in this folder, you could just download them and stuff. But once you have all your jars, um, go into your bucket server here and you'll see a folder called plugins. Double click that folder and drag all of these plugins into your s folder. If you have any errors when starting the server, go in again, send me the pastebin, and that should work fine. Now you're going to double click run.bat. And put this in the corner here. And it actually loaded up really fast. And as you can see, if you go into your bucket tutorial, and go into your plugins, it has made a folder for every single plugin that we've installed. And plugin metrics will always be there. So don't get confused if you get that folder. Now open Minecraft.exe. Well, just to test it. And I'm going to show you what all these plugins do. So we're going to play. Yeah. Now, um, l let me explain to you guys what a plugin is. So if you've ever been on a server and you've had like slash hat and you could select a hat and stuff um that's basically what all this like stuff is so as you could see it said you have no new mail um and that is because um essentials um is what um uh, may uh gives what 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 like um powers all the slash mail and slash hat so i could take a grass block and i could type slash hat and as you can see, enjoy your new hat. And I have literally uh, a grass head. Um, any block should do this. Um, oh crap, that probably glitched out. <laughs> um, any block should do that, but if not, um, then try a different block. So yeah, it works for all of them. And then you could do slash hat again. Oop, uh, slash hat. And I don't know. Uh, slash hat. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, doesn't matter. You could just go into your inventory and take it out. And yeah, so that's Essentials. Essentials has tons of commands. Do slash help, um, and then Essentials. And then it'll show you every single, um, every single command, um, 
uh, that has to do with essentials and yeah you can do so many so much stuff with this and yeah now um you have it slash afk of course and yeah so yeah um all ops colors will defaultly be red but we're not when we make the server next up well i guess this episode i'll show you guys how to do it now now we're going to talk about world edit um now world edit basically what world edit is 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 a really fast way of building so um slash slash two slashes and then w a n d and it'll give you a wooden axe and this is a wand that you can use for uh this so let's say we want to get all this rid of all this grass and flatten out this area we can do that pretty pretty easily by just doing that mm -hmm. and slash slash cut but I will be making a full on in-depth tutorial on how to use World Edit. So uh, I'm not going to teach you guys World Edit, but it's just something really useful. You can set blocks and make giant, um, you can make a house really fast. I'll try to make one real quick. Uh, you can make it look good. And you know, uh, you have to know how to use the program though. And how to use this plugin. And as you can see, I'm just gonna zoom through this real quick and show you guys. Slash, slash, slash. And you can make a house really easily, as you guys can see. Uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth with this. Um, but yeah, I'm just, that's just something to note with World Edit. Now, um, if you've got that all working, now we're gonna work on Permissions X, which is another plugin we installed earlier and um for permissions x we're gonna install another plugin called easy permissions x and yeah i will have that link in the description and make sure you you don't have to stop the server but for extra measures i would recommend uh adding plugins when you restart if you edit plugins it's fine just if you if you're gonna add a plugin um i would recommend um going and i'm just gonna go get Easy Permissions X or Easy Pex, uh, real quick. Uh, I forgot to get this, sorry about that. Yeah, it should not take long to download. Keep, and it gives me the jar, that makes it go a lot faster. Go to my uh, bucket tutorial. And bring that into our plugins. Just like you would add any, and then we can start the server right back up. And let's open up my Minecraft again. And Easy Permissions X is just, it just makes Permissions X so much easier. Um, it just makes everything 20 million times easier with Permissions X. Um, all right, so go ahead and join your server. Um, I'll have it right here. And as you can see, um, it gives us all this stuff. And now we're gonna start on permissions X and we're actually gonna also open up the config for permissions X so to open up configs um, we can go into our bucket tutorial folder go into our plugins go into our permissions X folder and permissions.yml open that with notepad plus plus um, oh, never mind yeah that's the right thing actually make sure you open it with notepad plus plus link will be in the description a lot of links today so yeah um as you can see there's already a group this is the default group you will automatically be put in this group and we'll look into that um permissions later on i'm gonna go and extend the window of my minecraft a bit so that it's easier for you guys to view this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do slash easy pecs and that's gonna give us all the permissions all of the all of the stuff for this and I'm gonna make a w really in-depth tutorial to permissions X but I just want to show off this plugin before I go and leave you guys hanging um, because this is um, this is I want to explain all these plugins to you and how to use them the best that they can be used I will have tutorials for every single one one about essentials though slash kitty cannon <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> pretty awesome. 
I'm actually gonna go and put my music to my sound down. Why is it at 100? I don't know. All right. So anyway, <laughs> getting off track here. Uh, you're gonna see all these commands that you can use. Uh, slash you promote and all this stuff. We're gonna add a group. So slash create a group. And I'm gonna name this group owner because I want it to be us owners. And I actually don't have enough permission, so um, uh, you can do everything you can do in Minecraft. You can do in the command prompt. So uh, create group owner uh, g uh, g add p uh, star. And you guys probably um, don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm just gonna show you guys. So g add p star adds permissions to the group, and star is every single permission, and owner should have every single permission. Now, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and do uh, you promote crazy bacon 10 owner. And we're also going to remove him from default. And if we press enter, uh, I was add to group owner and removed. And now I have all the permissions. So now um, using the Minecraft color code thing, I'm just going to do slash time day real quick. And I'm going to de opt myself because once you have all permissions, uh, permissions are more powerful than op, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, once you have that uh, with star, you can we could go ahead and add a prefix. So as you can see, if I type, it just says crazy bacon said said this. I can do slash g prefix owner, and I'll just make this cool. And uh, um, again, I'll go into more def. This is um with um the Minecraft formatting codes um you can you use and in game instead of that weird symbol and yeah let me just go like that and press enter and as you can see owner's prefix is like that so if I go type as you can see it says my name and what I can do to change the color of my name here is if I go back here I can actually just add the color I want my name to be so let's say I want my name to be green. I could do and A and L. And now if I type, eh, my name is a different color. Um, and as you can see, it's the owner next to my name, which is nice. Um, so yeah, um, that's just showing you guys what permissions X. And you can add different permissions. And uh, I'll go into this more in depth on another video um, going over permissions X, but this is a uh, tutorial on how to set up a, a successful Minecraft server. Um, probably next video I'll show you guys about permissions X because that's probably one of the first steps you're going to want to get into before making your Minecraft server. Um, so yeah, next video you guys will see that. Um, yeah, so yeah, we can go and stop the server here. And yeah, so um, this is what everything looks like. And I just wanted to show you guys when we changed, when we made the um, the uh, the message of the day, it will change all of these ands into these u zero zero things. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, and also, now if we go back into our plugins and permissions x and permissions .yml, you'll see we have owner permissions and prefix. And yeah, so as you can see, it also says users, crazy bacon 10, group, owner, and it shows, it tells it I want to be in the owner group. And we still have default, we will delete that eventually, but for now, we'll just keep that as default. So yeah, let me just actually exit out of that real quick, and yeah. So all links will be in the descriptions, and um, again, as always, uh, leave your pastebin links in the description, I'll go check those out. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This has been the Bacon Gamer here, signing out. Peace. <laughs> that was a bad piece. Hold on. <laughs> Peace.